Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So on my last video I showed you guys how to connect the Bitdefender Box 2 directly to your ISP's modem. The modem they provide you, or the router, they provide you to get your internet service up and running. Now I'm going to show you guys how to connect your Bitdefender Box 2 to your own router. That way you can have your ISP's router, the Bitdefender Box 2, and your own router that way you get more wireless range all around your house rather than however whatever kind of range this provides you so let's get started doing that I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer and uh, let's see how it goes alright guys so now the very first thing that we're going to do is of course we have the Bitdefender box 2 over here so now we're going to go ahead and plug the power in okay so now we'll flip this around or on the back you'll see the connection right over here okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and connect that right here okay and so now this is gonna start kind of breathing in and out so now when it starts spinning which it's gonna take a few seconds then we can move on All right, so now that she's spinning, we're gonna jump to the phone real quick. And now we're gonna go ahead and scan the QR code that comes on the instruction manual. So I'll click here on my QR scanner and we'll go right over here. All right, and now there's also one for iPhone, but I have an Android device, so I'm gonna click on that guy. Now I'm gonna download the Bitdefender Central Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and open it. Okay, now while that's there, I'm going to go ahead and just drop down here real quick. Now I'm going to go into settings, and I'm going to go to network and internet, and I'm going to go to Wi-Fi. Now in here, I'm going to look for that router itself. There we go, Bitdefender box, obtaining IP address. Now shows connected, no internet. So now we'll go back to over here to Bitdefender Central and we'll go ahead and sign in. If you don't have an account, you just create one down here. But if you do, and I'm going to go ahead and log in for you real quick and cover this up. All right, now we're logged in. Welcome to Bitdefender Central just go through all of this okay before we set up the box okay so then right over here we're gonna grab the Ethernet cable that came with the Bitdefender box 2 connect it to the Verizon router or your ISP's router and now connect it back here to this little symbol that looks like a little earthling symbol sorry just a jumble of cables back here okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and click set up box I agree and I want to contribute go ahead and read the subscription agreement and the privacy policy and then click continue and now we'll get started okay we've already connected the Bitdefender box to the power okay so now what we're going to do is Disable this basic security on our actual Verizon router or your ISP's router and then click Save. Okay, so then after we do that, now we'll click Next here now that we've connected the box to the router to the internet and we'll click Next. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and click set up network security. All right, so then here's where it's a little bit different than the last time. Now, it's saying I have a personal Wi-Fi router or I have a Wi-Fi router from my ISP. We've already done the first one on the previous video. So now we're gonna do personal Wi-Fi router, the second one. Okay, now choose your desired setup. Here it's how it's gonna look. 
Okay, secure existing Wi-Fi AP bridge mode. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and connect the Orbi, the Netgear Orbi I have right up here. Okay, so here is the Netgear Orbi. This is the other router aside from my net, aside from my Verizon router. Uh, this is the one that provides wireless access to the rest of my house. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this guy around. And I'm sorry, I'm a little, a little wobbly. I'm standing on a chair up here on the top of my desk. And so this cable that connects to my ISP's router, I'm going to go ahead and connect. I'm going to disconnect it from my ISP's router into the, into the Bitdefender box too. So let's go back down. And now with that cable, we're gonna go ahead and connect that right over here to the ethernet symbol. Okay. And now we'll go ahead and click next here. Set up your personal Wi-Fi router to bridge mode. For this, you need to access your router's admin interface. All right, and then if we're unsure how to do this, we'll just click Customize LAN Address. Okay, then it gives me that address there. And we'll just click Next. Okay, that would be the LAN address that the Orbi provides or the IP address. Okay, great. Your Bitdefender box is up and running and your home network is secured. Bitdefender box will now start to discover new devices on your network. Okay, so we'll click next here and then you could read through this. We'll go ahead and click OK for now. OK, so now it shows that my pixel is protected. So we can just click on the plus here and install Bitdefender Mobile Security. And then that way we'll have antivirus on the phone if you want it. But then that way you can track it on there. And I just click open. We'll click I agree, continue. Okay. And then here again it shows you have 363 days left. I would have had originally 365, but since I've already recorded previously, it's counting down from that point. All right. And there's a bunch of different stuff here you can set up. We'll go ahead and skip that just for now. Right now I'm just showing you how to connect things. And then now we'll click on the plus here and then install Bitdefender Parental Advisor. This way I can control my kids' devices, my son and my daughter. Whoops. Okay, and then I click open and then I can just go ahead and configure everything through here. Okay, and turn on accessibility. So here we see Bitdefender Mobile Security and Parental Advisor. So I'll just click on Parental Advisor and switch that on. Click OK. And I'll go back. And now I'll do the same for Bitdefender Mobile Security. Okay, so that's the basics. Now I've connected everything and, or should I say my phone and the internet on my desktop. So that's the basics. Now what I'm going to do in another video is show you how you add other, other devices and then also show you how the parental uh, control works. Anyway, this is Iggy showing you guys how to configure the Bitdefender Box 2 with your own router rather than only connecting it to your ISP's router. That way you can use the ISPs, you can use the Orbi, and then you can, I'm sorry, you can use the Bitdefender box too 
and your own router, in this case, again, the Netgear Orbi. This is Iggy out. See you guys.